Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Mellow Monday. I'm mellowing out this Monday evening, as it is, in my barn tonight, um, safe from all the wind that's whipping around out there right now. But it's warming up, which is a good thing. The snow is melting. Yay. We didn't get a whole lot here, but six and a half, seven feet just south of us. Wow. Big time. But, hey, let's forget about the snow for a minute and look at our psalm for this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday is the first Sunday in Advent. Yeah, we're starting a whole new church here. Psalm 122. Beautiful psalm. Short and sweet, so I'm going to read it very quickly. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, build us a city that is bound firmly together. To, the, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as those decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones of judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Yeah, this is powerful, powerful psalm. Again, it's one of the psalms of ascent. And what we mean by that is not... Man, did you forget to use something today? No, not that kind of scent. We're talking about ascent, moving up, stepping up, rising up, because Jerusalem's built on a hill. That's why it's called Mount Zion. And it, so you, when you're traveling to Jerusalem, especially during one of those high holy days, and these Psalms of Ascent were especially spoken during those days, uh, Passover, the Feast of Pentecost, the Feast of Tabernacles, or the three big ones. Um, you, would, you would make your way there, and these 15 Psalms of Ascent from 120 to 135, 134, they would all be, oh, in some rhythmic fashion, spoken back and forth between a cantor, a leader, and the congregation. You had all these things memorized. You knew them by heart. And and you would go up and you would praise God in the temple. Now, here's the, the problem with this. Uh, it says also in the little uh, superscription that it's a, a psalm of David. Well, if David wrote it, then it was anticipating the temple being built because it wasn't built when David was there. But he did have... Uh, what you might call a tabernacle. It was moved uh, inside of the walls of the city from its uh, original place where it was set up. So you did have that. But more likely, these psalms were written during the time of the exile. The people were in Babylon. And now they could look forward with the anticipation, anticipating when they would be able to go and Oh, just think about it. Uh, wouldn't you be excited to go to Grandma and Grandpa's knowing that, man, there's going to be root beer and cookies for me there? Hey, let's go. Come on, everybody. Now, when's the last time you said, hey, everybody, let's go to church. Come on, let's go. I mean, I think sometimes we don't get quite as excited in that way. But for these people going on these three holidays, they were excited. And that's why they could say, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord, especially if you've been in exile for many, many, many years. All right, so we're in the season of Advent. It is a season of looking ahead and anticipation, and we're going to see that all this coming Sunday without, throughout our uh, gospel readings that we have and our epistle reading and our Old Testament lesson. Um, trying to look down here now, we, we're going to be looking with, okay, the Old Testament lesson from Isaiah. Yeah, you've heard the words of Isaiah before. Uh, he, he looks ahead to that time when swords will be beaten into plows and spears into pruning hooks. Anticipation. Yeah, well, yeah, we haven't got there yet. We're going to do that with Testy Tuesday tomorrow, all right? Then you have Matthew, who um, also is saying, be ready, be ready, for the Son of Man to show up. He's going to come at a time when you don't expect it. But it's going to be a time of joy. It's going to be a time where he finally puts everything right again. So you have all that anticipation. And even the Apostle Paul, 
uh, realizing that we're going through a lot of trials and tribulations as Christians, says, hey, what, what can anybody do, do to us? Nobody can harm us because we have God on our side. Who can separate us from the love of God? Nothing can. Nothing can. All right. So let's get back to Psalm 122, though. Um, it starts out with talking a little bit about the city of Jerusalem itself. Uh, and you're just so glad that there you are. Finally, you've got there. You've traveled for hundreds of miles. And now you're standing within the holy city. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Can you imagine how excited the people are? And and it's built as a city that's firmly bound together. The people have life in this city. And that's something that, well, they kind of had it, kind of didn't have it in exile. But now this is the place where God has his habitation. We're here in the city finally. Now there's a little strange um passage here for there the thrones of judgment were set up the thrones of the house of david thrones of judgment we think of that as being a bad thing no it's a good thing because the the priests were given the charge that if anybody came to the temple they were to help settle disputes that were between them and their their neighbor or someone within their family and they were to meet out justice fairly now as we come into the temple, you know, this is our opportunity for that to happen. Someone's been wronging me badly. And, well, okay, God's going to put things right. So it's a good thing. And look at this. Praying for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace within your walls. Security within your towers. That's where we're going to find hope. Peace, security, right here. And for the sake of all my relatives and my friends, I'm going to say, peace be with you. And we know that word peace, shalom, it means health, wholeness, well-being, everything that, that can entail, everything going right with your life. All right, very, very powerful job. So we anticipate um, God's coming to us this Advent season. It's, this anticipation is found in Psalm 122. Why? Because we're standing in God's presence. And, and in God's presence, there is righteousness, righteous judgment. And we're called to enter into his peace. Called to enter into his peace. So, let's just do one thing. Let's get to church. Yeah, I'm glad when they said to me, Let's go to church. Let's make that our Advent theme in the coming weeks. God's blessings be with you.